checking out this video and since you click this video you might as well click that subscribe button so we have this game play it's gameplay and we was going through our um, what is it our comments our comments and somebody suggested that we do the gameplay for uh, Warhammer 3 yeah so we this is for what's the name again it was Alpha, um, forgot that quick. Okay. I had my phone in the room, but he know who he is. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Finally, we got some time to do it, and it's the gameplay for the Warhammer 3. Hope you guys enjoy it. Also, we want to thank you guys for 200 subscribers. Last time we just did a regular video where we was talking so this is kind of a thank you to one of the subscribers who mentioned a game reaction gameplay to do a reaction to so we do we do read their comments and we do you know if you want something for us to watch or react to we certainly will, will do it yes this is about the fourth one mm -hmm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so, so i'm so excited we finally reached 200 subscribers thank subscribers. you guys so much we still got a lot more to go before we reach a billion that's okay. a b that's okay <laughs> we're, we're doing good we're doing great so i hope you guys enjoy this gameplay Let's all do right it. you ready y'all ready because i have no idea what this gameplay gonna look like all right guys let's check it out Here it is, the first look at Total War Warhammer 3 gameplay. Today we'll be testing our medal right, in an epic new game mode, Survival <laughs> Battle. Survival battles drop us into the heart of enemy territory. To prevail, we'll need to deploy our defenses by spending supplies on a variety of barricades, projectile towers, traps, reinforcements and buffs. In this particular survival battle, we're that taking that the false. fight to Korn, seizing three victory points as we progress through the ruined fort with the Brass Citadel and its gatekeeper as our goal. But our invasion into Korn's domain He also let us fought. know in the we'll comments that this game of lesser demons is if we're going on toe -to -toe PC, with so thank, you, thank you so much for that too, because we be wondering sometimes, like, with this system, the game's As all. the battle begins, we find ourselves immediately set upon. Some quick flanking and a blast of Katarin's ice magic Man, sets us up for a swift come. initial win. Now that the way ahead is clear, we can progress to capture the first victory point and start our defensive preparations. We'll use our structures, which have been built from salvage found in Korn's realm, to our tactical advantage. They'll help us herd our foes into kill zones so we can take control of and maintain the battle's flow. We'll place barricades on either side of the victory point and block off all easy routes up the main ramps. This will funnel the bulk of the demons towards the side ramps, where our bizarre guard will hold the line. Meanwhile, our towers, Kossars, and Katarin will tear them apart. Here they come. Oh wow, look at that. What is that? That's spinning. Yes, that's a portal, I think. Katarin oh, uses her wow. lure of ice to quickly slide between engagements. To help ease the load on our Tsar guard, we'll use her devastating Frost Fang ability and Heart of Winter spell. Against such insurmountable odds, yeah, our warriors are sure to tire and spell. take losses. Thankfully, we can keep our army fighting fit with the replenishments menu. I wouldn't do that. Likewise, we can dramatically improve a unit's performance with the upgrades menu. I wonder if I could buff weapons, you armor, do. and other essential no. items. <laughs> but that won't be enough to take us to the Brass Citadel. We'll need to call fresh troops into the slaughter with the recruitment menu. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes again. Our defense is holding thanks to our Streltsy reinforcements, but the demons keep coming. Our goal lies beyond the first victory point, and we need to press onwards. With the bulk of the enemy in one convenient narrow corridor, a decisive charge from our winged lancers should put a swift end to their assault. We've survived the first wave and can press our invasion deeper into enemy territory. Man, this is crazy. And there's your scene. Remember mm -hmm. you were talking about the twilight? There go that scene. Mm -hmm. You know, they on one side. The defense of the second point begins shortly. <laughs> We've only a brief respite before the demonic hordes come anew and haven't much time to arrange our units and structures. But As these are with what? We'll expand what is those available things? Troops, arrows? Summoning what is that? Just... Units to meet the what the heck is all of those things? Threat. Oh yeah, what is that? What it is it? Like some type of sword or something. With healing and buffing abilities, and a bare mount to briskly carry him between units in need, the Patriarch is a strong addition to our forces. Wouldn't Many a chaos bear? slave has fallen to Little Grom's ancient and roaring fusillades. Fighting alongside it stokes pride into the hearts of all Kislevites. And rightfully so. Right now, Little Grom, with help from the Ice Guard and other units, is making steady work yeah, of the demons like assaulting our western wall. Sword, spear thingy. Mm -hmm. What is that? Ooh. It's shooting, look like a cannon that shoot frost. Frozen bombs or something. Oh, wow. But where our western defense is prevailing, our eastern flanks are in danger of being overrun. A second artillery unit should help even the odds. <laughs> Although advancing is our primary focus, we'll leave a rear guard to protect the bulk of our army. Losing a victory point and getting flanked now could spell disaster. One final push to the point. That fire looks so we real. We must seize the icon Man. of torment and tempt Korn's gatekeeper from his lair. Here we make our final push. Tired and bloodied from our march into chaos, we face two waves of demons, bolstered with heroes, cavalry, artillery, and the gatekeeper himself. Now is the time to rain the full force of Urson's wrath down upon our foes. Uh oh. And do our best to survive. So there are more. But to endure portals? the coming storm, yeah. we'll uh -oh, need Kislev's here. fiercest defender. Despite Korn's overwhelming the numbers, we're standing strong. Remember? Kislev's superior range capabilities, mixed with the storm's bulwark of the Dargar and the capacity to restore our troops from the yeah. replenishment menu, and the Patriarch's abilities, means we're deeply entrenched. With that in mind, we can stand to be a bit more aggressive. With so many demons packed together tightly, Katarin's Frostfang ability and her other offensive spells prove ruinous. And with Korn focused on piercing our Tsar wall, we can unleash our yeah, war and like, other cavalry like to wreak havoc in their them flanks. Yeah, like the elemental bears ranged so elemental breath like ability it's, it's and a continuous rain of fire from our little units, and we soon find ourselves prevailing against the third wave. Prepare for the fight of your life! Here he is, the Gilt uh -oh. an exalted <gasps> bloodthirster. This greater demon of corn is war, brutality, He's the fire. incarnate. No mortal man could hope to stand against one and survive. Thankfully, we have Wait. a giant ice bear. If we're not careful, corn's yeah. gate keeps yeah, systematically <laughs> devastate and rout our infantry, sowing discord and creating holes in our wall. We need to keep him focused on the elemental bear whilst peppering him with ranged attacks uh -oh. and spearing him with our anti-large infantry like the ice guard the quicker we tank the gatekeeper down the sooner we claim victory the combined might of Katarin's magic the elemental bears ferocity and the continuous assault of our army is too much for even corn's greatest of champions we stand triumphant <gasps> but corn is not the only dark god with a realm in this accursed place the battle is won but the war goes on. 
Wow. The battle is won, but the war still goes on. And look, they say follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, no. seen, you seen at the end, Sega? Mm-hmm. I was just, uh... I was just telling a dude, I think, the other day, I was like, Sega still make games. He was like, no, they don't. I said, okay. Wow. You need to subscribe to the channel so you can see that Sega is still around. So, that was pretty good. Yes, that was. That was intense. I thought the, the, the devil, the one with the fire was going <laughs> to conquer and win. That's what I was thinking. But no. Good always prevail over evil. So no, that little ice bear got it. Yeah. Or what is it? The the what? Yeah, ice bear. That's what he said it was. He said our ice bear has to um um hurry up and defeat before um the Rams group I think come with more forces or something like that. Yeah. Wow, this was good. This was very good. Thank you so much. We enjoyed the gameplay. We understand yeah. now about the trailer. And this is what I'm talking about with the other reaction that we did a couple of days ago. Yeah. Yeah, we want to thank yeah. you so much for recommending us to react for, to this. And we also want to thank you guys again for 200 subscribers. We're growing. It's all, be it's all because of you guys. Spread the word. Because we're here. And we want to thank him again for this. Mm -hmm. This was... This was Thumbs up for you. And you know what? Actually, thank you so okay. much because we haven't mm -hmm. did a gameplay in a while. In a while so. Yeah. But if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you love this gameplay video, please give it a thumbs up. Go out and buy it. <laughs> Don't forget to comment and share. Also, follow us on Instagram at A Taste of Life with the Clarks, all one word. Don't forget our podcast that's on Spotify and Anchor, of course, A Taste of Life with the Clarks. This gameplay was crazy and awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you again for 200 subscribers and we got a hell of a lot more coming. We're out.